Dramatic comeback falls short for Stevenson as they fall 85-83 to Messiah here tonight. Glenn Clark alongside head coach Gary Stewart. Coach, um, you know, what changed in that second half that allowed you guys to fight back in this one and make it a game there at the end? Well, we, we didn't show any resistance in the first half. And, and uh, they're a well-coached team, and, and they've got some talented players. And when you don't show up, uh, you dig yourself a ditch, and we did. Um, but credit our guys. We got down by 23 and had two shots at the end to tie it. Um, so I'm really proud of uh, uh, the guys in the in the uh, uh, particularly in the second half, the effort, uh, the cohesiveness. But it, at this level, you have to have that for 40 minutes. You can't turn that on and off. And um, unfortunately, um, what we didn't do in the first half, we paid for dearly um, um, in the second half because uh, it was a long climb. Uh, you know, we got down, like I said, as much as 23 points in the second half. And um, it's hard to do when you've got a guy that handles the ball that's a 90% career free throw shooter and, and they space you out. And um, But against anybody, I mean, you just it's just a recipe for disaster if you, if you don't compete for 40 minutes. Coach, you were sticking with some of your younger guys, Bryce Whitley and um, Cole Beam in there in the second half. I know it's deep in the season and, and maybe some of it's starting to look towards the future and the roles are going to play, but... For those guys to be out there as you're going through that comeback, what does it say about what you might have in those guys? Yeah, we really like those guys. Uh, Mason Jones, uh, he's another one that that uh, contributed significantly. We really like those guys, and and uh, there's an opportunity. There's an opportunity here uh, for those guys to bust through, and and um, we really feel like they have a bright future. I mean, um, some of the plays that they make, the composure by which they play with, um, there's a lot to like. Uh, it was senior night tonight. Uh, only one senior on this team, Cameron Sapienza, who had such a, a torrid start to this one and then kind of the heartbreak there at the end with the the looks. But um, can you talk through what Cameron's meant to this program and how proud you are of his growth? Yeah, he's been tremendous for us. Um, we knew we were getting a winner when we got him from St. Joe's. He's so well coached and, um, you know, he's he's um, raised with a value system that aligns with what we're trying to do. and. Um, so he's, he's really premiated our program in terms of um, really reiterating a culture and, um, you know, uh, uh, we're all about service and servitude to the guy to the left or to the right of you. And he uh, exemplifies that. And I love the fact that, you know, he brings a hard hat. He's a cerebral guy, talented guy, um, and um, a guy that you can really count on. Um, he's been, been terrific for us. So this is going to be the last time that you and I are going to chat this season. I know wins and losses, it hasn't been the season that you wanted it to be. What to you is the most positive takeaway for this team as you look towards the future? Well, I think when I look at this team, I think we've got to get better. But the exciting thing is that we've got a lot of guys that – uh, have not hit their ceiling yet, and and we think they can get better. Uh, obviously, we've got to get stronger. Uh, we got to get a little bit older. Um, but um, I'm, I'm optimistic. You know, you know, we we hit a tough patch there where um, um, where we lost Nate and lost Cam, and um, tonight we we couldn't play with Rashid because uh, of the injury. Um, so it, it's been a difficult uh, stretch for us, but. Uh, all in all, I, I think sometimes you take a step back to take two or three steps forward. And, and so we'll, there's a lot to learn in these last uh, uh, eight weeks, and, and we'll sift through that and, and uh, get a plan together to, to improve. But this is the same team that um, played exceedingly well against um, a lot of really good teams this year. So we know we have that in us. Coach, best of luck on the road this weekend. As always, I've appreciated all season long you spending time with us. Thank you, Glenn. I really appreciate you and all that you do for uh, not only the men's basketball program, but for Stevenson Athletics. And um, we're going we're gonna to get you in the postseason uh, here shortly. I'm, I'm waiting for it. Yeah. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's say we got to get size for a ring at some point. Coach, appreciate you take the, uh, taking the time. Absolutely. It's Gary Stewart. I'm Glenn Clark. GoMustangSports.tv.